Hi guys, and I'd like to say sorry. You're probably thinking, why am I saying sorry? But it's for the lack of uploads. Um, over the few weeks, I think over a month, I've only got three videos out, and it is not good enough. I just like to say I'm really sorry for that, guys. And I'm going to change that now. The amount of uploads is going to become more often. You got my word for it, guys. But anyway, back to Dagenham and Redbridge. Hey guys, welcome back to my Dagenham Redbridge career mode. This is episode 17, and you can see we've got a game against Southend. Now let's get into the action. Saunders picks up the ball, dinks a lovely ball over to Benson. Benson gets it on the volley, and it's just going wide. Both pick up a corner here with Turgot. Turgot swings it in towards Scott Dow, wins the header. 43rd minute and it's 1-0 to the Daggers. Absolutely fantastic bullet of a header from Scott Dowe. Let's see that again. Lovely boy from Turgot but that header from Scott Dowe was fantastic to make it 1-0. And that was the half time score. Now Southend pick up the ball with Martin. He plays it into Timlin. Timlin plays in the spy so we can't see him closing down as of yet. They get a good ball in but Martinez is there to make the save and the shot goes wide I couldn't believe that when I saw it but here Benson picks up the ball he plays into Waddle Waddle takes the shot and it hammers off the post Dominic Green puts the rebound wide ah oh, open goal let's hope we won't have to live to regret that but here in the 72nd minute Potts picks up the ball plays into Bingham Bingham comes running in gets tackled gets the ball back and the shot gets saved it's not yet cleared, but here it's time for some substitutes. Turgot comes off and Green comes off. We bring on Curry. Also, we bring on Gal as well as Luke Howe. And now Southend are on the attack with Timlin. Potts trying to close him down, gets the tackle in, but Martinez is there to make a great save. Spillane can get it cleared. And now we come on the attack. 83rd minute. Bingham slips the ball through Dominic Green. Dominic Green on the run. Gets his head up, looks to get the ball back, seems to be pulled back. Benson gets it, but the header's not good enough. And to be honest, I thought that was a penalty. He was getting shrugged back the whole time. It really poor decision by the referee. It really sh should have been a free kick because he was getting pulled back. But look, you can see the defender was just all over him. It is really poor refereeing decision. But here, in the 87th minute, Bingham gets a tackle. And he hits the shot by slow and hard, by straight to the keeper. And now 89th minute, they pick up the ball. They dink it over to Hurst. Hurst, Scott Doe comes across the line and makes a tackle. But it's not away yet. It's a corner for Southend. It looks to be Hall taking it, swings it in. Curry gets the header, but it's not yet cleared. It falls to Spice, it falls to Phillips, and it goes in. And it's a 90th minute equaliser for Southend. Heartbreak moment for Dagenham. And that is the full time score. Dagenham average 1. Southend United 1. But let's not, let's not get, let that get us down because here we are going into a game against Torquay who are 22nd in the league. And sorry guys, my phone just went off. Let me just chuck that over there. But here we pick up. The ball with Benson. Benson slips it through to Scott. Scott turns, gets his shot away. It's a good save from Polk. And it gets cleared away by Cruz. And now Torquay are on the attack. But they lose out. A goal go picks up the scraps. He plays it into Turgot. Sorry, excuse me. Turgot plays it in the Chadwick. Chadwick thinks a lovely ball over to Scott. Josh Scott takes his shot. And oh! My God. What a finish from Josh Scott. That is a fantastic goal. And a well-deserved goal as that. Absolutely fantastic. Look at how he takes in his stride and smacks it into the top right corner. And now again we are coming on to the attack with Medialito. Lovely little turn there to get away from his man. Gets his head up. Plays a lovely ball over to Benson. Benson wins the header. And in it goes. 2-0. Paul Benson with a great goal in the 23rd minute. Let's look at that one more time. Medialito, weak foot. Dinks a lovely ball over for Paul Benson to get the second goal for us absolutely fantastic goal and now we're on the attack again Josh Scott gets his head up plays it into Benson Benson looks evades the tackle gets his shot away straight to the keeper though and now Chalaba picks up the ball in the middle of the park Josh Scott 
goes for the shot and it's deflected and it's an easy save for Polk. And now Torquay straight up the other end of the pitch. Win a free kick. Chalabar with a poor tackle out of time. But here they pick up a free kick. Mansell looks to be taking it for them. Swings it in. Wins the header and it goes wide. Martinez doesn't look at that there. Ten clean sheets. The league's best. And that was half time. Torquay United nil. Dagenham two. Now early in the second half. Josh Scott plays a lovely ball through the shadow, but he gets in the bench, Benson shoots and it just goes wide. And again, 77th minute, Turgot picks up the ball, plays into Alito, Alito plays into Scott, Scott brings it back to Benson, Benson hits it, and another shot goes agonising wide, and here are the substitutes that we seem to make, and they also make up a sub, they bring on Jarvis for how you're probably thinking, Dean, why are you showing their substitutes? But here comes the ball in, and it is Jarvis who just came on to pull a goal back for Torquay and it's really poor really really poor goals to concede but we pick up the ball we lose out but Torres wins it back very well but he's given a free kick in the same place as the last one but this time they take it early and here they come on the attack with Lafro he plays it through to Bodin Bodin comes in Gets the space, gets his cross in, and Potts is there to header it out, but it's not away yet. Lafrope again, Bingham makes that tackle, and we bring it up the pitch. He slips it through for Benson. Benson, he's away. Can he seal the points? Plays it through for Scott. Scott Potts it wide, but it's full time. A massive scare for us there, but it's all right. And now we go into the final game of the episode. We are home to AFC Wimbledon. We make one change. Turgot. Wait, do we make one change? I'm not even sure that we do. I think we make a lot of changes for this game because of the fixtures that we have. As you can see, we play into a 4 3 1 2. Also, actually, I'm not too sure what we do. I think. I'm not sure, actually. I think that is the one change we make is Torres on. But it's because we changed the positions. I weren't too sure. But early on, Shadow comes through, saved by Brown, and then it's away. But here they have a chance, they play it through to Harrison. But Sandoval picks up the scraps, plays into Chalaba, Chalaba plays it into Alito. Alito gets into Benson, Benson plays it to Alito. Alito takes his shot, he's going to cross goal, but it's an easy save for Brown in the Wimbledon net. But Moore comes through, Moore plays it into Jolly, Jolly plays it over to Harrison. Martinez comes out, makes a great save, and then dives on the second ball. Great piece of goalkeeping. And now he takes the goal kick, which is a poor one, straight on the attack for them. But Sandoval picks up the ball again, plays into a go go. A go go plays into Benson. Benson plays into Scott. Scott turns his man, gets his shot away, and what another fantastic goal by Josh Scott in this episode. About 25, maybe 27 yards out, and he just turns his man. Weak foot, look at this, great ball in, just turns this man, look, yeah, about 27 yards out, and smacks it in to the top hand corner, and that is half time, 1-0, an absolutely fantastic goal by Josh Scott, but here late on in the game, it is Wimbledon on the attack with Yusuf, Scott Doe makes the tackle there though, and Moore gets it for a midson, puts it away, oh my word, in the 87th minute. Agonising, agonising, it's just the same as South End, really really poor, but here straight away we get the ball through the Waddle, Waddle, he gets his head up, looks to make the pass, pretends not to and gets his shot away, which is saved by Brown, but it's a corner for us, Sergio Torres, swinging in the corner, it's in towards Spillane, he wins the header, but then it's out, but it's back in, and then it's out again, only as far as Sandoval, who plays into Bingham, and then it's tackled, but it's not away. Scott Doe plays into Alito. It falls back to Alito. Alito shoots and it's blocked away. And eventually, they come away with it, with Midson. But now they get a free kick. They swing it in. Midson picks up the ball. He plays it through to Moore. Moore comes through. Martinez with a great save. But then there's Midson in there to make it 2-1. An absolutely devastating goal to concede. An absolutely poor, poor end to the match. And there's the full-time whistle. 
2-1 and that's how it ends and this is the league table everyone we are on 19 goal difference with 59 points in at fifth place and only four places away from Northampton who are in the automatic promotion starts and we have two games in hand against Southampton and one against Northampton, Chesterfield and Rotherham and that's the way we end this episode leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe to ensure you don't miss a video and other than that i'll see you guys next time yes i will